Welcome to the first ever episode of Super Chef Presents Cook That Ish. Yes, you heard it right. Like the popular trash talk slogan for Talk That Ish. And that's exactly what we found today. We found two chefs who've been talking that ish about being the best at one certain dish. And that dish today is shrimp and grits. So let's introduce our first chef. He comes to us from Detroit, Michigan, by way of Franklin, Tennessee. He graduated from culinary arts school at Sullivan University. He's a co-owner of one of the best breakfast restaurants in America. He has revolutionized culinary apparel with his chef line, Chef to Impress. They call him Mr. MVP. They call him the best thing cooking, and they call him the whole damn show. Give it up for Rodney White. Now, what makes my shrimp and grits the best? It's very simple math. I look good, I cook good, and when you cook good, they pay good, and when they pay good, you do what? You live good. I mean, just look at me. It's very simple math. We the best, no calories. All right, and for our second chef, he comes by the way of Sullivan University as well. He is the owner and executive chef of Chef's Prep Meal Prep in Louisville, Kentucky. He is also go by the name of Mark the Sharp. Give it up for Marcus Child. What makes my shrimp and grits the best in Louisville? For one, I'm the king of shrimp and grits. For two, hey, I add creativity, I add texture, I add flavor, and my plate presentation is on point. The king's here, baby. So we're finally here. These two have been talking so much ish about who can make the best shrimp and grits, but it's time to stop talking and start cooking. So let me go over some of the rules first, okay? Right. So there's some things you knew and some things you didn't know. The things that you did know is that you got to bring your own ingredients, you got to create your own dish, and we have every ingredient back there for you. Okay. What you don't know is that it's only gonna be 15 minutes to cook and that both of you will have to use a different piece of cooking equipment in your dish. And the second thing is, we're gonna pick who's gonna go first, because y'all both don't go at the same time. So anybody wanna go first? I always wanna go first. Ladies first. No, well, the good thing about this is, I created the show, directed it, so therefore, <laughs> we're gonna do a, a coin flip first. So, anybody want heads or tails? Yes, baby. That is apparent. <laughs> <laughs> that is. That the talk doesn't mean. stop. Keep See, this is how we got here in the first place. Because Marcus swore no one could touch his shrimp and grits. Nobody. Then Rock said, I know he didn't say shrimp well, and grits. You know that. <laughs> so, you got hits? Got hits. Wow. Heads it is. Would you like to go first or second? I go second. Second? Yeah. Does that mean you're nervous? No. Hmm? Does that mean you want to get a rest? Tired? Good, okay. Let's little, talk that little, ish. Little drop, drop. So, Marcus, I'm going to have you go over here and sit down. Rock, you can come with me to the back so we can get this thing started. So, we're about to start this first round off. And the cool thing about what we gave you already is you got to pick all your ingredients. So the people out there know is that everything over there you have, you got to pick. From the habaneros, the brown sugar. We did give y'all even playing field. We did par cook the grits for y'all halfway. That way it wouldn't take you so long to cook the grits. But your time will start now. What is your version of shrimp and grits you're doing today? So, my version of shrimp and grits today, we're gonna go to Jamaica a little bit. Jamaica? Jamaica be crazy, huh? We're gonna do a little Jamaica called a Jam Rock Shrimp and Grits. You know, play off my name, play off Jamaica, have a little fun with it. All right. Well, I definitely haven't heard of a Jamaican shrimp and grits. What, what makes it Jamaican? Jamaican, are we going it's all Jamaican infused flavors. From the ginger, to allspice, brown sugar, got some good heat in there with some habanero peppers. Mmm. We're gonna have a little fun with it. See what happens. I think you're missing some scotch bonnets and you'll be right there in Jamaica, man. Yeah, Kroger didn't have it. Yeah, enjoying the 420, man. Yeah, I know, man. So, so what do you got going on now? So we're throwing in the brown sugar, I mean the uh, onion, fresh garlic. Can I get my spoons? Spoons, please. I'll get you some spoons. Thank you, sir. I'll help you out a little bit. Just right. won't touch much. We got our timer right here. You are at 13 minutes and 58 seconds left. Cool. And what, what are you planning on doing with this right here? Oh, so this is gonna go, I'm gonna blend these up. This is gonna basically be my sauce mm. for my shrimp. Gotcha, and what's your, think, what's your take on the shrimp? What do you plan on doing with those? So the shrimp, well, I think you kind of forced me to deep fry it. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you could have you deep fried a garnish too. Uh, hey, no one told me to deep fry the shrimp. But that's what we're gonna do, so. We're gonna trust the process and everything. 
Okay. Did that, how, how much did that throw you off? And I'm gonna stop asking you questions while you're beginning to. Um, didn't throw me off too much. That's the point of being a chef, right? You make adjustments, so. Gotcha, okay. So, and just so people know at home watching, everything that he has over here is ingredients that he chose to have, that he chose to have. So, I wonder how much the fryer is gonna throw him off because the thing they didn't know is how much time they had, and they didn't know what other kind of thing we were gonna throw at him. So, I'm super excited to see what he does with this. So, time is ticking, he only has 12 minutes left. Let's see how he does. Gotcha. What you got going in there? All right, so we added a little bit of cinnamon, just a pinch of soy. I already got our pepper in there, fresh garlic lime. Then we add a little more thyme. Then just a little more heat since we ain't had a scotch bonnet, a couple of red pepper chili flakes. You add sugar to your grits. Add sugar to the grits. Huh. Remind me of the old cream of wheat days. All right, so now I added in my honey. So we're gonna kind of just switch it up. Nine times out of 10, because Mark is a loser, he's probably doing savory grits. So we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna do sweet grits. That's where I grew up eating sweet grits. All right? All right, so we just added in a little vanilla abstract. So this, these grits are gonna be real nice and sweet. Not too sweet, but we're really gonna balance it out because we're gonna get the heat. From the sauce. So you dipped your, you put your sauce in that pan. Yeah. And this, this is basically just some lobster stock that we got in there. So we're gonna make a quick roux, which is nothing but a little fat and flour. Our fat is actually butter. Ah! That <laughs> <It> was hot. <laughs> <coughs> For y'all don't know, I'm a punk when it comes to hot spoon, but it's flavorful though. It's got a good flavor. I'm gonna add just a little more. This on spice. Hey, I'm just saying, you don't come into my house and make it dirty. I'm just saying, you may want to clean it as you go one day. Just saying. Well, I'm saying I got you coming, sir. Forgot to add this to it. Look, my scallions. Okay. They're sitting right in front of me. Oh, oh. onion added to it. Yep. And so what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna make it like a little gravy. And we're gonna throw some fresh pieces of shrimp right into it. I don't want your grits scorch over there, chef. Oh, we on low and slow. All right, yeah, seven minutes. Seven minutes. Goodness. Now, mixing bowl. We're gonna get things ready because we gotta fry the shrimp, chef. And that's gonna act like as a marinade for it? Yep, a quick little marinade. So, what I did, I made my roux separately because I'm not using a uh, actual recipe, kind of just freestyling off the top of the dome, where this way I can kind of control the thickness of the actual sauce. Uh, you, like, you do like them grits sugar. Yeah, I like a little sugar. Add a little more brown sugar to it. Five minutes left. Five minutes left. A little more salt. Have you, I, I imagine you thought about plating since this isn't something we just threw on you right now. Yeah, got a couple ideas. We're gonna see which one sticked up. All right, we're gonna taste our grits one more time. They almost there. Let them keep going a tad longer. Let me come on over here and, and try a little something. Let's try what them grits taste like. Good. Ha, it does remind you of cream of wheat. Would you lie to me on camera? <laughs> <laughs> it definitely does remind you of it. That's good. I definitely see where you're going to Jamaica. So you better wash them grits and you better wash that oil. Make sure it ain't too hot for you. That was a good call. I know y'all wondering like, why is that? So since I don't have any type of buttermilk or anything like that, Need something that's gonna make the flour stick a little more. Like a little poor man's egg wash. Gotcha. Looking good. Thought it was easy, didn't you? <laughs> hey man, they may be bringing all the ingredients, but they didn't plan for the other two 
things I threw in there. They wasn't ready for the time, and he wasn't ready to have to use a fryer. So those two things, I think, threw them off a little bit. Shrimp almost done. Hey, just give you a little tip. You know what I'm saying? You can call me an angel in the kitchen for you. An angel in the kitchen, yeah, I heard you. You may just want to turn the oil off and let it keep cooking from how hot it already is. Yeah, that's a good call. You know you're smarter than what you look. Nah, I look good, so most people look good ain't smart. I'm, they call me the double whammy. I seen you moving slow, brother. The same could be faster. <laughs> now you're literally at 58 seconds. I don't know if you're gonna get all, everything on every plate. And your sauce? Oh yeah, you got your sauce on. Oh. You had 37 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, done. Ah. All right, so Chef Rodney, go ahead and tell us what you made today. All right, so we got a Jamaican-infused shrimp and grits. What I did was uh, kind of switched up, did some sweet grits with a Jamaican gravy, with a jerk gravy. Um, the gravy is a little lighter because I use lobster stock in comparison to using beef to give it that dark, rich flavor. All right, so, uh, the shrimp is actually fried because I had no option. I want to say no option, but I had to use something fried. So I decided to fry the shrimp, um, and it's also a little bit of the jerk uh, gravy throughout the entire dish with fresh uh, shrimp inside of it as well. Gotcha. Okay, let's dive in. Leo, let me know what you thought about dish. Uh, I thought the dish was um, a great iteration of shrimp and grits. Um, when Chef Rock said that he did a Jamaican kind of influence, um, you know, with jerk shrimp and grits, I was excited because I love spice. Uh, so I was looking for a punch and a kick, and there was a little bit of heat, but when I think Jamaican jerk, you yeah. know, scotch bonnet, habanero, I want to I wanna really get, uh, get burned up. That being said, uh, the shrimp was cooked beautifully, the grits were wonderful, the Jamaican uh, jerk gravy was, was uh, pretty spot on, so uh, great dish. So what you're basically saying is you want a tear to come down your eye. Yeah. When I mean, you're yeah. going to say Jamaican, yeah. go ahead all the way in. Yeah. Okay, well, fantastic. All right, on the McKenzie, let me know what you thought about it. So me personally, I am opposite from Leo. I am such a pansy when it comes to spicy stuff. So whenever he said jerk, I was like, oh, I'm about to start sweating. But honestly, it was such a balance. I am a sucker when it comes to balance. So the sweetness of the grits mixed with like the spicy enoughness of the jerk of the shrimp was like, for me, it was killer. I loved it. Well, good, good to hear. You ready for me now? Sure, coach. <laughs> doom, doom, doom. No, but this is a really fantastic dish. Obviously, I didn't eat that much of it because the taste of it was fantastic. I didn't want to get full. I wanted to really be able to let the flavors pop. I love the shrimp two ways. You know, you fried one and then you put one in the gravy, right? Yes. That was fantastic. The shrimp were cooked perfect, even though that fryer back there was yeah, it was sub else. You know what I'm saying? So that was good. The sweetness of the grits were really, it's what made the dish because the spice you had in there, I think you need a little bit more of that sauce you had, not the gravy, yeah, yeah, yeah. but of what you mix together with the habanero, the onions, the, was it leeks? Uh, scallions. Scallions, you know what I'm saying? That whole, he blended it all in a blender, that like puree kind of thing you put on there at the end, you just need some more of that just for that spice that kicking up. Because for me, I'm a heat fanatic though. So for me, I would just a little bit more heat, but as far as the cooked shrimp being cooked perfectly, the sweetness of the grits balanced out that gravy, which is really, really good. I like the lobster stock you used in it. But overall, man, it was a fantastic dish. So next we're gonna head back to the kitchen and watch chef number two, Marcus Child, see what his take on shrimp and grits is. There you go, big dog. Right up right. So, Chef Marcus, glad to have you in here. First round was really, really good. He did a great version of shrimp and grits, but now it's your time to shine. You know what I'm saying? So, you have the same rules that he had. You have 15 minutes to prepare this dish. You have to use a grill, and your grits are already over there, par cooked. That way we don't waste too much time. All right, All right let's do it. starts now. All right, so what's your first thing you want to knock out? I'm going to go ahead and uh, cook up my lobsters. Oh! And my shrimp. So what are you doing with those shrimp? So I'm going to actually cook them in vegetable stock. 
Okay, I like that. A little poach. All right, I'm adding the non-seasoned grits in here that they part cooked earlier. He has jokes, people. He think he's funny. Gotcha. It's all good, though. So I got my seasonings. I got my Cajun. I got my sea salt. Garlic powder. And I got my pot, uh, black pepper. So I'm gonna cook this down, get the flavors in there, whatever. Um, the milk. Everything get infused together. What direction did you take on this shrimp and grits today? What is this meal? Tell me how you're gonna do this shrimp and grits. I'm gonna do a Cajun Mornay uh, shrimp and grits uh, with a little twist on it. With a grilled lobster tail. Gotcha. If shrimp and grits wasn't good enough, it just got better. Oh yeah. I like that. So my shrimp and grits, I like to add um, uh, smoked gouda. Take the uh, shredder. Smoked gouda and uh, pepper jack cheese as well to my shrimp and grits. So what I'm doing right here is I'm actually roasting a um, a uh, red pepper. So once that's nice and roasted, we're gonna actually add that to the grits as well too. Gotcha, okay. Gonna sweeten up that pepper by roasting it some? Yeah, oh yeah. Anytime you do shrimp and grits, if you're not using smoked gouda and pepper jack cheese, you ain't doing it right. I like that, man. I like that. Talk that ish. Talk that, Marcus. Let him know. So when it comes to shrimp and grits, I'm the king of that. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And what kind of sauce do you have going with that? It's going to be a Cajun Mornay sauce. What's the red pepper for exactly? That's actually going to go in the grits. It's going to be like a roasted red pepper Cajun grit. So I got my roasted red pepper. Go ahead and take the uh, the roastedness off. The roastedness. Oh, that's that new culinary term, huh? I yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. That's how you talk that ish when he's cooking that ish. So I'm gonna go ahead and dice it. Gotcha. I could use a blender, but uh, my name ain't Chef Rock. Oh, nice skills. I hear you. He looks like he knows a little bit about what he's doing back here in his kitchen. I'm excited to see how this dish comes together when this is all done. Go ahead and go ahead and uh, do my Mornay sauce now. Gotcha, okay. And tell the people watching what exactly a Mornay sauce is. So usually uh, you wanna add Parmesan cheese to your Mornay sauce. Space is like a heavy, heavy cream base and, uh, and a cheese, cheese sauce. Uh, that's pretty much all it is for the most part. A little salt and pepper, a little nutmeg. What kind of cheese is that? It's a smoked gouda. Oh, smoked gouda. Oh, you turned it up. This ain't no regular Mornay. Oh, no. Ah, oh, this is Chef Marcus's Mornay. Absolutely. I like that. Ah, uh, let me get that little grit. What do you think, Chef? Smokiness. Like that, huh? You didn't add no liquid smoke, did you? I did not. I said that cheese? It's that smoked gouda. Okay. It's smoky for sure. I like it. I like it a little cold, but smoky. Uh, smells good in here, though. One thing I will say is that it didn't smell like this a rock. Mm -mm. And they smell this good. I like where you're going with this dish, though, man. I really do. You look like you're right on time right now. That's what I do, man. Oh, I like that confidence, man. That confidence is what got you here. Cause you was talking it. Now we're ready to see you cook it. And so far, I gotta say, it smells delicious. Ten seconds. 
don't know if you're gonna get that loft to tell on there. Four, three, two, one. And you're done. Hands off. Good job. So, all right, we have chef number two, Marcus Childs, coming out so we can taste this shrimp and grits. All right. Switch the style up. All right, so Chef Marcus, tell us what you prepared for us today. All right, so today I actually prepared a roasted red pepper Cajun grits uh, with a grilled lobster tail and a Cajun Mornay um, shrimp um, saute. All right, so how did you cook it exactly? Uh, so I actually um, used uh, roasted red peppers, uh, Cajun, some more seasons and herbs um, for the grits. Um, for the Mornay sauce, I'm actually put a little twist on it. Um, I use, a, of course, heavy, heavy whipping cream. Um, I use smoked gouda and I use pepper jack cheese. And um, for the, the grilled uh, um, lobster tail, um, I just grilled it um, with some basic Cajun seasoning and salt and pepper with that as well. Gotcha. And you did poach the shrimp and the lobster tail, correct? I did. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I actually did poach the shrimp and lobster tail with the vegetable stock. Okay. Perfect. All right. We can go ahead and dive in, judges. As the mark is a question, I say, do you believe you could possibly overcook a lobster tail? And what was your answer, Marcus? Yeah. <laughs> but good job on not overcooking it. Yeah. But you can overcook a lot. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Oh, I guess you were being smart. You can't because you're so good, right? Yeah, exactly. Got you. You're you know, so great. You I got get on the record. All right, so Leo, let me know what you think about the dish. Uh, I thought the dish was great in concept. I thought execution uh, maybe a little short. Um, the flavors were there. Um, I thought there was a tad too much cheese in the in the uh, grits. Uh, I've got I got some chunks of cheese. The lobster wasn't the easiest to eat, and also wonder if it should have even been on the plate. That being said, uh, the shrimp was beautiful, sautéed well, and uh, the dish overall was great. Fantastic. All right. So next we have the cheese guru who has not stopped eating her grits yet, Mackenzie Pay. What do you think about this shrimp and grits? Obviously, you like the grits because 90% of yours is gone. <laughs> yes, um, for me, grits anyway, like I love cheesy, thick, bodied grits. So these for me, fantastic. Like I said with the first dish, when I hear spicy, I get like intimidated. So I heard Cajun and I was like, okay, here we go. We're gonna start sweating. But the shrimp was like, the shrimp was killer. Um, the presentation, I thought it was beautiful. I love the minimalistic look. So like the shrimp with the cup, I'm kind of on the same page with Leo with the lobster. Like, did you need that? Maybe not necessarily. I thought just the shrimp with the grits would have been totally cute. Little roasted red pepper cut up on top as your garnish would have been like adorable. Love it. Delicious though. <laughs> and that is from Chef Mackenzie Pay. <laughs> All right, so as far as the dish goes, Marcus, you did a fantastic job. I loved it. I love Cajun. When you think sugar grits, you think what this tastes like. You know what I'm saying? Um, I loved it. My lobster was cooked perfect, um, and I was surprised because of how long it cooked. But it was cooked perfect. I loved it. It was tender. It was nothing wrong with my lobster. Um, the shrimp were cooked right. The grits were cheesy, um, and it had a good flavor to them. I don't know if I like that much cheese in my grits, but overall, a good dish. Um, the only, one of the only downsides I would say is like everyone else said, I don't know if you need a lobster tail. Great, mine is cooked perfectly, but I would have liked another note besides Cajun on this dish. Everything was Cajun. I would have liked to see some acid. I would like to see some different textures. I would have liked to see something else to put this dish together. But overall, you did a great job. All right, so we finished our round of best shrimp and grits. Let's go ahead and get our chefs out here. All right, let's face off. All right, I want no fighting here. Calm down, calm down. All right. Body on. You good? All right. All right. So, you both did a really, really good job, bro. Like the shrimp and grits, everyone loved it. I was really surprised. Marcus, they won't stop talking about your grits. Rock, they won't stop talking about your Jamaica, man. Hey, you know what I'm hey, saying, man? All right, but let's get to the real stuff here. Okay. All right. No. So, are you already announced the winner of the first ever cook? that ish challenge because you both have been talking uh -huh. all right and the winner is
Chef Rock. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Come on back over here, man. But no, no, no. The difference making between the two dishes was really Marcus less is more. You know what I'm saying? We just want to see a different note from you besides just Cajun on everything. I think if you would have broke it down, maybe cut that lobster tail open, let that grill mark hit that lobster, that way you would have that different component going into the dish. I think just less is more, you would have you knocked it out. The lobster kind of killed you, even though it wasn't a lobster and grits, it was a shrimp and grits. So I appreciate you coming out, man. Maybe we'll see you next time on another edition of Cook That Ish. Right. Skirts! <laughs> <laughs> that way. All right. And we have our champ right here, people. Give it up for, what is it? Mr. Pay-Per-View. Uh-huh. Showtime. Uh-huh. Can't get his hairline right. Check the waves, though. Yep. Uh, give it up for Chef Rodney White. So, now, since you've won, you've obviously shown that you can cook that ish, right? But now it's time to talk. Are you ready for the best part of the show? Oh, this is my favorite part. All right, you ready to get to you ready to get to the TikTok? TikTok, you don't stop. All right, I will see you all on the next episode of Cook That Ish. I want to thank me. <laughs> I want to thank me for believing in me. I want to thank me for doing all this hard work. I want to thank me for having no days off. <laughs> <laughs>